we're back with episode two of Lost in the Sauce with your boy Fest Cooks. Today we've got the all infamous Smash Burgers. Everybody's talking about the Smash Burgers, everybody's making Smash Burgers, but this is how I make my Smash Burgers. Bison, ground lean bison Smash Burgers. Let's get started. I want you guys to get your cast iron pan. I don't want a non-stick pan. I don't want you to go get your Canadian tire pan. Go get a nice cast iron pan, nice heavy bottom cast iron pan and get it ripping hot. Bison is, again, a super lean, lean, lean meat. So we're going to want to add a little fat because we're going super, super simple salt and pepper on these babies. We're going to start like I've started here. Some nice little golf ball sized balls. You can use a scale if you have a scale or you can eyeball it. All we got here, we got pure meat, pure ground bison. So bread, bread crumb, don't put breadcrumbs in, in, in your in your in your burgers because uh, I mean you're losing the flavor of the meat I mean we go to the store we buy good quality meat not <laughs> up with breadcrumbs so please stop putting breadcrumbs in your damn burgers you're gonna be smashing these layering them one on top of the other so every two balls is gonna be one burger a cast iron pan is absolutely ripping hot we're gonna throw a little bit of uh, vegetable oil uh, in your pan here. Uh, not a good time to be using olive oil. Uh, not a good time to be using butter. It's just going to burn. So use a nice high smoke point oil. Get your nice bison patties and you're just going to hit them right in your pan. Immediately season them generously with some kosher salt and black pepper. We're only going to be seasoning one side. So you're going to want to get them really well seasoned on that one side. Go ahead and take your Something like a spatula like this one, a little bit of parchment paper, lay it on the bottom of your spatula, lay it over top, and use anything that you've got to smash these down. Now, these are gonna cook extremely quickly. As little as 30 seconds aside, you're gonna have nice little thin patties. We're looking for the Maillard's reaction, a beautiful browning on the bottom, caramelizing of that beautiful meat. Once we flip it and we see that nice brown, we're gonna hit it with some classic cheddar American cheese here. I'm gonna show you what you're looking for here. Immediately, take your slices of American cheese right on top. Grab a lid from another pot and a little bit of water. Just a couple tablespoons of water. Get it in your pan, we're gonna steam this cheese. And it's gonna get all gooey, melty, beautiful cheese. Exactly what you want when you're eating a smash burger. Guys, we've made a beautiful mountain of these little bison smash burgers smothered in cheese. Put these aside, it's like little mini steaks. We're gonna rest them up for a little bit. We're gonna make the most amazing the most tasty Fest Cooks burger sauce. Don't at me with your burger sauce. This is the sauce, okay? Some beautiful chopped white onion. Let's go. Two, 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 two or three tablespoons. Chopped dill pickles. I'm gonna go equal parts. A little kosher salt and a little black pepper. And next, I mean, it's the holy trinity. It's got to be on, on every burger. Ketchup, about a tablespoon. Yellow mustard, again, about a tablespoon. Mayonnaise, about half a tablespoon. A couple key ingredients I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the lowdown on. This is some nice red smoked paprika or regular paprika, whatever you prefer. And about half a tablespoon. Follow that up with a little garlic powder. Again, about half a tablespoon. And you've just made the best burger sauce that you're ever gonna wanna eat, ever gonna wanna have in your kitchen. You can put that in the fridge, put a little mason jar, put that in the fridge, surprise your guests when they come over. I mean, look at this. This is, this is impeccable. We've got our burgers, we've got our sauce. The next most important thing is some impeccable potato rolls. Now, if you know Smash Burgers, you know the guys in LA, they love these. Martin's potato rolls. So we have uh, maneuvered 
strategically maneuver to a beautiful toasted golden brioche bun. Now, I would still prefer a Martin's bun if they had hamburger size in Winnipeg, which they didn't. So we're pivoting to brioche. We're gonna assemble with some of our amazing best cooks burger sauce, and burger sauce is gonna go liberally on both sides. We're gonna toss this lettuce, just a little bit of salt, pepper, and uh, and some nice vinegar. Bring a little vinaigrette, a little, 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 little brightness to our burger, okay? Positioning a little bit of our seasoned vinegary lettuce on the bottoms of each of our burgers. A couple beautiful smashed burger patties beautiful beef steak, tomato slice. Like a crown, we atop our brioche. What goes with a bison smash burger? Unlike anything else, amazing curly fries cinnamon salt sprinkled all over. What are we frying them in? Amazing, beef tallow. If you don't have beef tallow, you can use uh, a canola oil, a vegetable oil, but you're gonna see, if you put your hands in some beef tallow, the beautiful flavor, that depth of flavor that you're gonna get. So get your cast iron pan, uh, get, get it on the heat, get your beef tallow in your pan. I'm gonna bring this up to about 350 degrees. This is a spiralizer. Now, if I can get figure out how to work this thing, it's pretty simple. You've got a little uh, little <laughs> thing on the end here. You're gonna shove your potato right on the end, and use this little spiky thing to squeeze the butt in. Now, pretty simple, pretty standard. You're just going to, you're just going to. Suction your spiralizer to a surface that actually wants to accept it. Really what you're doing here is spinning, spinning your beautiful potato until you get these wonderful spirals coming out the other side. Look what you're left with. A beautiful spiral of russet potato. But first, Get yourself a nice a nice pot of, uh, of cold water and, and put these in the fridge, uh, soaking, I'll get the starches out of them. Uh, first ever lost in the sauce, swap out. These have been soaking for about two hours uh, in the fridge. We are going to get them out of this water and put them directly onto a clean dishcloth. Hopefully I don't have to tell you a clean dishcloth, but a clean dishcloth and massage them until they're nice and dry. This oil is gonna be reaching about 350 degrees at this beef tallow. We don't wanna put water into uh, into the, the oil. It's just gonna <laughs> cause a disaster. Make sure these guys are nice, nice and dry. You might even see a drip. Can we get a drip? Can we get a drip? <laughs> we got a drip. Put these aside, when our oil reaches 350, we are gonna drop these <laughs> Here, we're just gonna fry these up until they've reached a nice golden brown color. And in the interim, grab yourself, a, grab yourself a little bowl. We're gonna make a nice cinnamon salt that's gonna be drizzled over all of these beautiful spiralized russet potatoes. Salt, right? We're gonna get a couple tablespoons of salt. This is a nice kosher salt. I like to keep the salt, uh, uh, a, coarse, a coarse ground salt is always gonna give you the nice little crunchy bites of, of salt that you might be after when you're having a french fry. About two tablespoons, two tablespoons of coarse, coarse, coarse kosher salt. We're gonna hit it about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of white sugar. We're gonna follow that up with, I said it, cinnamon. These aren't gonna be sweet. We're not having dessert here. We're having a beautiful savory 
uh, savory, sweet uh, uh, fries. It's gonna be incredible. Cinnamon goes a long way. We want about half a teaspoon or less. Follow that up with about a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Give it a little whisk. And this is ready for your cinnamon salt, russet potato, spiralized fries. All right guys, our beautiful spiralized fries are ready to come out of the beef tallow. I'm gonna get a nice scoop of these immediately after leaving the oil. We're gonna hit it with our cinnamon salt with a little bit of nutmeg and sugar. Give it a little toss and listen to this. These are crispy little boys in here. Whew. Give it a little taste. Not sweet. Nice savory. You get a little hint of cinnamon. You can still hit this with a little ketchup, a little malt vinegar. Would be amazing. We're ready to eat. Let's plate up. All right, guys. We have got the most amazing bison smash burger around this mountain. Let me get a sound bite for you. These are some crispy cinnamon salt curly fries and man, they are not sweet. They're not a dessert. Just a beautiful body to the flavor. And, and I mean, accompanying this, this rich bison burger. So uh, paired with a little pepperoncini if you want to cut through a little bit of that, cut through a little bit of that richness. But I got to dive in here. It's beautiful. Bison burger, let me see this. Amazing. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Wow. That sweetness from the fest cooked burger sauce mixed with that richness from the bison. Nice fresh tomato. A little vinegary lettuce, man, impeccable. But I do have to give a major shout out to St. James Burger and Chip Co. for inspiring me to make these cinnamon salted fries. Go check out St. James Burger and Chip Co. and try out their cinnamon fries because they are fire as well. So crispy. This fry is probably enough to feed about 10 people, but get your hands on these there. crazy. I don't know if you can hear that crunch, but man, it's crunchy. A little pepperoncini. Nice fire. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care of yourself. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your mama, your tita, your nona, your sister, your brother. And if you want to see another Lost in the Sauce video, click right here. And please subscribe down below to my channel, Fest Cooks.